Welcome to another 1UP 3D Blender tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be continuing on wood textures and we'll be making a crate. This is a texture that usually turns out really well so and it's pretty easy to find a use for it. Crates are pretty common in games. So we'll open up GIMP, file new and we'll make this 800 by 800 because we're going to be um, using this texture on a, on a cube. It's a nice thing with crates is that you can unwrap it so you'll just have this one image and that'll show on each face. So we'll get started by making a f few um, pieces of wood. We'll do that just about like we did in the last tutorials. I'm going to use lighter colors, um, try to make it not look quite as nice of wood, otherwise it just doesn't quite fit with um, being a crate. You don't usually use you know nice hardwoods and stuff for a crate. So we're going to create that um, cloud layer. Alright, we'll go to randomize. Turn that down to about 1. This up to 12. Move this up a little bit. Alright. Now we'll select a couple of these spots. Create a new layer with transparency. And let's see, let's select the black. And we'll make that a fairly dark color. Select this again and select a new color. And we'll do that until we have just a few. We don't want to do as much as we did in the other wood textures. Uh, I'm going to pause until I have that done. Alright, as you can see I've made a few colors there. I'm not um, trying to make too much of a range in the colors. Alright. And now we're going to add a couple layers of colors to um, just add some variation in there. And, um, this one. Um, color like this and a dark color go with that alright and we're gonna chop these up with the lasso tool if you like using the erase tool sometimes that works too this is just my preference alright we're gonna blur that Let's do 200, no, oh, 300, I guess. Alright, and now we're going to add noise. Turn these up a little bit. So you can just see it there. Alright, and you can't see the effect too much, but that's what you want. You want it to be pretty subtle. And we're going to do that with the other two layers. I'm going to pause while I do that to save time. Alright, we're back. And we should have those layers blurred. As you can see, it adds kind of a nice variation in color and darkness on there. I'm going to take these and merge all of them down. Alright, and we're going to go to map, bump map. I'm going to take the cloud layer, and I've been turning off compensate for darkening. Well, not sure if I will on this one. What I forgot to do on this one is um, turn up the detail on the cloud layer. So you can see it's pretty smooth, it doesn't have a lot of noise. 
real fast. I'm going to try adding some noise to it, see if that fixes it. Not sure if it will, but if not, it'll be fine. Oh yeah, that didn't work at all. So make sure you add um, detail in when you do the cloud layer. We'll make it work here. And we're going to create a new layer with white. Scale the layer to height uh, to um, I'm going to go with 15. Sometimes you want to make it random so you'll get more kind of more of a random pattern in your noise on this. Gonna add some noise. Now we're gonna scale it back up. Alright, move that below. Move the depth down on that. And change that to sensoidal. Actually, I'm going to leave it at linear. Alright, as you can see, we got a wood texture there. I'm going to delete the cloud layer because we'll want a random one each, each layer of wood we make for each piece and we're going to scale this um, this is where you would decide how large you want the planks on your crate to be I'm going to make them around 200 so we'll actually make it 198 just so I can be sure we have enough space actually I'll go with 195 okay. We'll scale that. And as you can see, when you scale it, it looks like it's been stretched and looks even better as a piece of wood. So I'll move that over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to make four other pieces like this. And um, if you don't want to put a lot into this, you could just make two or three and then just copy them for all the pieces of wood. But um, we're going to make several more. Alright, so we have all of our pieces of wood made. And we're going to put them all at the bottom. What we're going to do is, to save on time, I'm going to duplicate some of these. And I am going to scale them to 100 in width. And I'm gonna rotate. Oh no! I'm gonna move this one to this side. All right. I'm gonna grab. I guess this one. And I will scale that to 100. Alright, so I'm going to pause it real fast and what you're going to do is you're going to take these and duplicate them and do the same process and you'll just have to rotate them. So I'll have that done just a second. Alright, so now we got the boards on the side and what we're going to do is go in and trim these. So I'm going to have to go in there. So I'm going to take the lasso select tool, and on this top one, I am going to cut off that corner. Do the same thing on the other side. And 
do that with all the other corners. I'm going to pause it while I do that. I'm running out of time. Alright, we've got all the corners cut out. And we're going to merge all these boards around it into one layer. Alright. Now we're going to take one of these boards and go with this one. We're going to duplicate it again. Move it up above them. And scale the layers to a width of 100 and a height of 1200. And now we're going to Go transform an arbitrary rotation. We're gonna go 45 degrees. Hit rotate. Now we'll move this till it's in the center there. All right. And you can just go to layer and layer to image size. Now we are going to. like the transparency on this top layer, that border layer. Hit control I and then we're gonna go to decor, we're gonna add a bevel. Make sure work on copy is off. And I'm gonna turn that to ten. zoom in to see how that looked that's good enough and we're going to create a new layer of transparency and dump black move that below we're going to deselect that and gonna blur the black layer we'll do 100 see how that looks yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing with the diagonal piece. Just a moment, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm going to pause. Okay, so yeah, we've got it selected. And we're going to add a new layer. Dump black. Make sure that it, you invert that. Move it below. Deselect. And blur that layer. Alright. Now you can merge these layers down. and then merge these planks um, down to each other but not to the frame okay now we're going to dump a wood color in the background uh, that's kind of bright actually there you go you don't want it to be too noticeable All right and we're going to zoom in Select the transparency between the planks. Zoom out. Hit Control I. And we're gonna add black to make the shadow. Alright, we select. And we'll probably make this one around 50, maybe. No. This will need to be around 15. There we go. Alright. Now we can delete these layers. Top. And you can go ahead and flatten the image. And we're going to add some nails real fast. So you'll zoom in. Use a circle tool. Just make some circles there. 
and you'll grab a gray dump there. Actually, that's not quite a circle. Um, there we go. We'll do one more on this side. And we'll do two on each each edge. I'm going to pause it while I do. Alright, so we've got our gray circles for our nails. We are going to add some transparent layers and add a gray layer and one that is a little bit brown, almost brushed just Rust, rust color, sorry. I'm going to move that underneath the gray. So we're going to chop these up and I'm going to pause it while I do that. So I've taken that uh, brownish layer and I've blurred it. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some noise now. And we're going to go to the layer with the nails on it. And we're going to select the transparency and then go to the brownish layer and hit delete alright so we're going to do that same thing to the gray layer now I'm pause it alright so we finished that and I'm going to look into this and we'll select the transparency and we'll go back to the layer with the nails and we're going to go to decor and bevel and we're going to want to turn this down to like two and there we go see they're kind of three-dimensional now right. and now we are going to well, we're going to merge these layers down and we'll, we're going to blur those a little bit probably with power one All right now We're going to add kind of a little bit of rust underneath those, underneath the nails. So we're going to kind of do something like this. And we got that rust color, we're going to put that there first. And we're going to do something like that under each one of these nails. So I'll do that and I'll pause. Alright, now we're going to blur that. Or before we blur that, we're going to add a new layer. Transparency into gray. We're going to dump that. We'll go to 50. And we're going to chop that up, blur it, and then add noise. So I'll pause it while I do that. Alright, back. And we're going to select um, the transparency in the layer with the brown rust. And we're going to go to the gray layer and delete that. Now we're going to go to the rust layer and we're below that also by a lot less, probably 25 and add some noise to that a little closer look at that and we're gonna have to blur both of those layers again Probably be by about three. Actually, this gray layer I'm going to blur by quite a bit more. Okay. And just a second, I have to pause for a little. All right. So now all we have left to do is add a layer, a shadow layer for the nails. So 
So we're going to go to the nails, we're going to select the transparency, go back to this layer, hit control I, and dump the black where those are. And now we'll just have to blur it and we'll be about done. I'm going to make that 15. Okay, now let's zoom out. Looks pretty good. We're going to export that as a PNG. I'm putting it on my desktop just to make things easier. And we're going to export that. And I'm going to set up Blender to show you how it looks in there. So I'll be just a second. All right. So here's our crate in Blender. See, it looks pretty good. Um, we'll push P to see how it looks in game. Yep, looks good. And these actually, this texture. All right, so this texture actually looks good when um, you render. Show you that. Yeah, it's a good texture. It takes a little bit of time, but it looks good when you get done with it. And that's all for that. And I'm not quite sure what texture I'll be making for the next tutorial. If you have any requests, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, uh, just let me know. I'll see if I can get a good texture working for it, and I'll see you next time.